My name is Alan Cawthorn. I'm a second year otolaryngology resident, also known as ENT. Um, how to get into ENT? Uh, it's kind of a complicated process, but it starts off with four years of undergrad and then four years of medical school. Um, and hopefully you match into the residency program. It's a five-year program. It is a surgical residency program, and that's why it's five years. Um, typical day for me, I wake up at about 3.45 or 4 a.m., get ready, show up to the hospital. I start chart checking the patients that are inpatient, um, check their labs, check their past notes, make sure I know the patients for rounds. We start rounding at about 6 a.m. Um, with a group of our upper levels and the chief residents. And after that, we either go to clinic or the operating room based on your schedule for the week. Um, it's a very rigorous program. You need to make sure you know what you're doing and that you're always studying and reading anytime you get the chance. I also recommend sleeping anytime you get the chance and eating. Um, but it is rewarding and it's worth the work. Okay. And ENT is pretty competitive. What would you say some things you can do to kind of help your chances of matching into ENT? Okay, um, definitely get a mentor who's in the field and uh, that gets you at least halfway through the door, it gets you some connections, it gets your um, mind into the gear of what you need um, in terms of matching into the residency. Um, you can also uh, work on getting some research under your belt, building up your resume um, always helps, even if it's not related to the field, at least getting your name out and published. Um, also, just studying as much as you can and making sure your grades are as high as possible. Okay, and what was it about ENT that got you interested in? Why did you choose ENT? Um, actually, like I mentioned before, I discovered a mentor in med school who is part of ENT uh, faculty in UT Houston. He allowed me to shadow him, and I just loved what I saw. I loved what he did. Um, he enjoyed his work, and it was a relatively good lifestyle, so it was appealing to me. Okay. What type of surgeries do you normally do as a in the ENT field? Uh, we do all kinds of surgeries. Uh, we do bread and butter ones like tonsillectomy, adenoidectomy. Um, we do ear tubes. Um, we do even facial plastics procedures like facelifts, brow lifts. Um, we do airway surgeries. So if somebody comes in and they are having difficulty breathing. Um, we have emergency airway procedures. We perform tracheostomies. We do all kinds of things. We even do endoscopic sinus surgery. Okay, and after residency, what kind of fellowships can you uh, go into? Um, you can go into various fellowships. You can do otology, where you just specialize in doing ear surgery. Um, you can do rhinology, where you specialize in doing sinus surgery or skull base surgery. Um, you can do laryngology, where you focus on the voice, you focus on the airway. Um, like I mentioned before, you can do facial plastics. You just have a variety of things you can do, and that's part of why I love it. Okay. And what type of advice would you give to someone who is interested in the field of ENT or just in medicine in general? Medicine in general, just make sure you know you're doing it for the love of it. Don't do it for any other reason. Don't do it because your parents want you to do it. Do it because you're purely there for the love of medicine. Um, it's a long process and it's filled with gratification, but it is delayed. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. All right.